Hey guys, here's a video tour of the ceiling fans and other fans at my new place. You guys may have known that we have just moved to, to this house by the beach. So yeah, it's, it's pretty nice because it's a house, it's not an apartment. And yeah. So here in the living room, we've got this Fanimation Benito ceiling fan. This is actually the one that was installed in my old place. Although it's installed slightly differently this time. This time the blazer have the cherry side facing down. That's because, I think it, that's because I think it looks better than the walnut side. And also, it has got energy saving bulbs in it because we changed the receiver so it could accommodate the energy saving bulbs. But before the fact, it only takes incandescent bulbs, which is not very eco friendly, of course. So, yeah, there's that. Cool thing is that this this fan covers the entire room, unlike at the old place. So, you don't need any portable fans or anything. The dining room is like pretty much under the ceiling fan. So, the dining table is pretty much under the ceiling fan, which is kind of cool. <laughs> because. You get a nice beach from the ceiling fan, and the beach from ceiling fans are, ge are it's generally a lot nicer than the breeze from portable fans. Here is the Panasonic air conditioner, which is in this room. We use it every now and then, just you know, dry the place when it's humid. And as you can see, even though the, even though the air conditioners are off, the doors are actually closed right now because it's actually, for some reason, this house is almost always cooler than the outside of the building. Could be the fact that the walls are thick enough to sort of block the heat getting in during the daytime and, you know, at night, it's kind of the coolness of night time, so combined with the air conditioners running upstairs, sort of keeps the entire house cool. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, there's a house over there, which is apparently almost identical to our house, it seems. So maybe this house is, uh, comes out of a standardized blueprint, although their house is very different inside. Like, they've got one of those annoying hidden air conditioners, which is just ba and, and basically just, just, just a louver in the wall. I hate those honestly because you know you can't have an oscillating louver. In the kitchen we've got this odd thing. As you can see, it's a kitchen range hood that that that, that extends and retracts electronically. The good thing is, though, is that on low speed, it's actually quieter than the, than the crystal range hood that we had in our old place. That thing was loud, even on low speed. And yeah. And this design is, looks like, looks just to be another design that helps, you know, save space, because otherwise it'll just be like a big thing sticking out constantly. <laughs> So it is, this is kind of safer almost, I guess you could say. And some people just think that this sort of looks good, when really this just looks like something that comes out of a spaceship. Honestly, if you ask me, but you know. It's practical, it's nice, it, it moves a decent amount of air. So, over here, there's this little sanky fan that came out that, that was in my parents' old room. We use it in the kitchen every so often. Here in the storeroom, we've got these two exhaust fans. I'm surprised to find out, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that the storeroom has two exhaust fans, not just one. This sanky fan right here, which is running constantly, which runs constantly. And this KDK fan, which is like an auxiliary fan, which actually almost never gets run. <laughs> and I'm assuming that 
this fan is meant to be the auxiliary fan, and that fan, that fan is meant to be the main fan because this fan is a much cheaper quality fan than that fan. So yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure they were installed at around the same time because you know they they both look relatively new. And maybe they they did they just used to be a lot of these and. Maybe the house was just full of bees initially, and they later replaced them with those things. So yeah. By the way, the fan, the fl the flap of this fan won't open on its own. It seems to have been rusted. So to open it, I, I either have to open the window and open it by hand, or take something like a pool stick and open it that way. And also the switch. I'm just supposed to turn the fan off when the flap is closed. It does not seem to work. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the flap doesn't press hard enough. In this bathroom right here, we have this other saggy exhaust fan, which was pretty much constantly as well. Unless my mom turns it off for whatever reason. Last time she turned it off, last time she turned it off, she just turned off the wrong switch. But you know, whatever. <coughs> and also, I do not know why in the world they decided to put openable windows here because this, these windows right here that drive into the exhaust fan, this that drive into the exhaust fan chimney, which is pointless. And I guess this is another one of those architecture fails. And my helper actually fought, actually fell, actually falls for it. She actually opens this window whenever she takes a shower. But you know, it's her problem. She'll just get exhaust fan air getting into the bathroom. <laughs> this door actually opens up to the chimney. Probably so people can access and fix up the plumbing. If you need to, that's the exhaust fan that comes out of the star room. That's the exhaust fan you just saw in the bathroom. That's the one leading from my parents' bathroom. And that duct over there leads from the kitchen floor. It's kind of cool how I have access to the outside bit of the exhaust fan, of this exhaust fan right here. So yeah, the floor is wet from the air conditioner condensation. There's my room, and you're gonna see this in a while. That's something new, actually. Over here in my room, we've got this new SMC Hampton Bay Mini Web 2, which just was just delivered and installed yesterday and despite what someone on Facebook told me about it being a weak fan it actually moves a lot of air, I don't know why he thought it was weak, maybe when he thought it just wasn't running on high speed or whatever but it actually moves a lot of air for this little for this little room right here it goes pretty fast actually it makes a bearing noise, it makes a dry bearing noise that a 20 year old fan would make actually but I'm actually gonna go and ask the electrical store if that's normal. So yeah, it's actually a pretty good fan. And over here is the Mitsubishi air conditioner. By the way, this air conditioner and the other one in my younger brother's room have, have terrible, terrible thermostat. Like, like the temperature that they will make the room is like 5 degrees Celsius colder than what the remote will set it to, so if you want the room to be like at 25 degrees Celsius, you'll have to set it to like 30 on the remote, but it's really annoying. Because you know, you don't really exactly know what temperature you're setting it to. So, yeah. But generally, I use mine in dry, which is almost just like a timed on off function. Which is almost, I think it's almost independent of the thermostat. Yeah. Down here we just got some junk. 
um, the Medea clip on fan. I do see there because I thought I'd need an exhaust fan, but apparently, I don't really need an exhaust fan. I just need to keep my room dry and the fan running if I can. And just, you know, if it smells, I'll just, I'll just keep this fan running. And apart from really powerful high speed, this fan also has another advantage a really slow low speed. It's actually a pretty good fan, if you ask me, honestly. Like the 30 inch Westinghouse ceiling fans look good in the Philippines. Don't go that fast on high, generally. He, he, now we're in my younger brother's room. And over here we got this other Mitsubishi Split Live Air Conditioner. I think this one is slightly bigger. Yeah, this one is slightly smaller. This one is bigger. Yeah, and also the comp the condenser unit for this one is bigger, so that's pretty telltale. And over here, we've got this Imasu portable fan, which was in my <laughs> old dining slash living room. So yeah, there's that. Also, my drum kit is actually in my, in my younger brother's room. Because it's my room. There's just no space for these things. We could have put a ceiling fan in this room, actually, but... Either we could have actually put a ceiling fan in this room, but... With that bunk bed being there, a ceiling fan there would have reduced saving, you know? <clears throat> my, mom just, my mom thinks that's enough, even though, even though I really think a ceiling fan would be better, but... Anyway, it's not even my room, so yeah. There's the West, sorry, Westinghouse. Um, SMC Hampton Bay Mini with two running on low. Get back up high. <laughs> Upstairs is my parents' room. Here in my parents' room. Oh, well, the air conditioner has been turned off. No wonder it's so hot in this room. Here in my parents' room, we've got this MSU pedestal fan, which was in my old living slash dining room. It's really meant for that area over here. And over here is the 100 Pacific Aurora two ceiling fan, which is in my old room. I really don't know why it's turned on right now. No one's actually no one's actually really in this room except no one's actually really meant to be in this room right now. I wonder why it's turned on. I'll ask my mom about it. Maybe she just wants to keep the air circulating. Here's the general inverter air conditioner. This air conditioner is pretty good with is it's an inverter and Yeah, I'm thinking they put an inverter in this room instead of in the room downstairs because this is the most this would be the most used air conditioner in the entire house as it is actually because this room does get pretty hot <laughs> so you know inverter air conditioners when they're on for a long time i heard i hear i i hear stuff about them using a lot less power than regular air conditioners when they're running for a really long time because you know starting and because you know starting the air conditioner sticks up quite a bit of energy. Here's my parents' bathroom. I'm not gonna reveal too much because I don't think they'll they like me showing their bathroom. So yeah. There's here we have got just another sacky exhaust fan. And once again, two stupid window panes. I really don't know why they're even there. They should just have another piece of glass there because you know, opening this opening one of these windows will just give you air from exhaust fans and there are even windows here I mean oh my goodness who, who, who even designed this place I'm gonna turn this light off I'm gonna leave the fan on my mom would have left it off for a reason I'm gonna turn this light on just because it's 
front of the building door. Upstairs, and this light is kind of security light. Upstairs here, we got, just got this midday dehumidifier. And also, we got these. We got this this window up here, which stays open pretty much all the time. At night, it narrow. I, at night, I close it. I almost close it, but I keep it slightly cracked. I just don't really like it being fully open at night, just so it doesn't tempt robbers and also just so stuff doesn't just also just so night and sex don't get in or whatever. I mean burglars probably won't even come here because the lights on anyway, but just to be extra safe I'd like to not have this window wide open at night. And here we got the and that thing is for the air conditioners. None of them are actually turned on right now, which is not really common. Usually, at least this one is on. In my parents' room, sorry, in my helper's room, my helper is actually over there right now. So I'd rather not spend so much. Very rather, I'd rather not go in. Over there, we got the that. I don't remember what brand, oh sorry, Matsusha, but over there, over there we've got that Matsusha fan that is in her old bedroom, and also that air conditioner, which you guys have seen in another video, and also they've added shutters to, to this air conditioner, just so you know, stuff doesn't get in at night, so that you know, stuff doesn't get in when the air conditioner is turned off, and also when there's like a typhoon. The water doesn't just get forced in. The basically, when there's a typhoon, the wind won't really blow water in to the, 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 the tube. So, yeah, here's the chimney. I'm really careful. I don't want to drop my phone down the chimney. But yeah, there's that. Anyways, that's actually it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a like.